Yes, Nikhil, you missed out. Okay. So, first of all, hi, everyone. And uh, today we will be discussing about Capstone project. And actually, uh, uh, Capstone project is something that we normally uh, do in our uh, education uh, time when we are normally graduating or doing some major project. Uh, during that, we have to provide some project where we can show that how much we have understood the overall uh, 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 education syllabus. So we'll be discussing mainly upon what is Capstone project and what are the main key concepts that we should be aware about when we are actually doing a Capstone project. So these are the topics that we are going to discuss. First of all, that what is a Capstone project? Then uh, what are the, ba the, the main tips that we can uh, uh, keep, a, keep a consideration to make a good Capstone project? and uh, we are discussing about the capstone project research life cycle and then we are going to actually discuss about a business case discussion where we can uh, implement all these uh, terminologies and overall thing thought process of capstone project to discuss about this so i'm expecting that uh, this session will be uh, kind of a more interactive uh, rather than i'm just uh, talking about capstone project so on the last point definitely i need uh, you guys to come up with some ideas and some discussion that we can uh, uh, we can have to uh, get a proper solution on the problem that I have uh, given in this specific uh, sheet. So first we'll dis uh, discuss what is a caption project. So basically it is defined as an independent research that every student or person makes before graduating from a college or university. And basically, it's a great opportunity to demonstrate your knowledge and research skill that you had in your overall educational uh, timeline. And uh, we will use our own methods and principles of researches and analyze the information. And we'll suggest some new solutions and idea based on the research and principle that we have uh, implemented. And uh, we have, there are like plenty of caption project ideas are there, but we have to choose the one which will make uh, help us to make an interesting project and uh, something that we can definitely uh, learn a lot from that project. So taking an easy project is always fine, but uh, uh, something that should be unique, which can actually show your uh, own thought process and your own uh, uh, unique uh, unique ideas uh, will be the one which, which is going to impress a lot of people. So uh, now we are going to talk about the tips to make a good capstone project, basically. So we, we can choose an interesting topic, like where we can actually uh, define a problem and uh, we can uh, get the feedback on that problem. Like, actually, is this a problem or it just something that uh, we, uh, we, we can thought about? And uh, we, uh, if, if that's an interesting one and uh, that is a something that is uh, every people a lot of people are facing that issue so so what we can do next is to gather the facts and data on that and uh, we can only use the only uh, the new facts to make sure that uh, whatever the facts they are we have to work on those facts and get the proper idea about the solution uh, after that after we get this proper solution we are going to make a schedule and an outline that how we can deliver that solution in a specific timeline and once we deliver then we are going to analyze monitor the solution how it is working and uh, make suggestions on improving that project so these are the some tips that we can always have uh, with us to uh, make a good capstone project uh, now we are going to move into next slide we uh, actually we normally follow a research cycle when we are doing a capstone project. So basically the first task is to define a task, define a problem where uh, our, what is our actually question is like what we need to uh, achieve uh, by solving this problem or what the actual problem is and what we are going to achieve once we solve that problem. So defining task is very much important, which is the first thing we have to do. 
Then second is the identifying the options to resolve that issue. So we are going to identify if this problem can be work around in some way that uh, we can, we don't have to uh, make a lot of research and everything. And we are going to identify the options that we have uh, where we can uh, use those options and solve the problem and how much complex it is to solve those problems. So identifying option is the second task. Third is selecting the source. So how do you research for them and which do you choose? So sources are very much important. Sources are something where we get our information to, uh, uh, to implement our solution. And uh, we have to make sure the information that we are getting are from the right sources. Once we get all this information, we are going to analyze the overall content, analyze the overall data, what, what is going wrong or what is something, the missing part of the overall puzzle that is going to help us. And once we identify everything, we are going to present the finding. We are going to uh, see what are the findings we have and how these findings can help us to solve this problem. And each and every of these cycles, we are going to evaluate the overall process. We are going to see how the process or how that specific cycle is leading us to get the relevant and useful results. Okay. Now we are going to actually talk about a business case discussion, like I said in the start of the session. So here is my first case. So XYZ is a company who provides a pickup drop services. Uh, this company basically allows people to uh, give their cars, bikes, or any kind of pickup drop service, and uh, they can uh, charge in uh, in place of that. Uh, but recently, uh, the company is getting a lot of concern regarding the security of the customers who are actually using their pickup drop services. So this is the issue that we have faced. So I want to know like how we can resolve this problem. And we are actually going to use this specific research cycle to uh, resolve this problem. So first, like I said, define the task. So I have defined this task here. XYZ is a company who provides the pickup drop service and the task is that we have to give customer a best security when they are traveling using their services. So this is our task is to define the problem that we are we having right now is the security of the customers who are actually using our pickup drop services. So how we can solve this problem. Uh, so let's talk about the options that we have. So can someone start with the options that they uh, see that we can have these options is as our part of this task. What are the different options that we have to us so that we can give a proper security to our uh, customers who are using our services? Anybody want to start? Anyone? Shweta, do you have any ideas how we can solve this issue? Maybe because we normally have a lot of times we normally, uh, you know, kind of ignore the Ola Uber services during the night times because of the security concerns or normally companies are uh, giving their own pick up and drop services because they are not really uh, uh, sure about these services, the people who are actually delivering those services. So how what is the different ident options that we can have to make sure that we can solve this problem um, Any plan? okay let me put this one okay so uh, one thing i can do is uh, i can set up a cctv camera or something that is going to give me a live feed of the customer to his concerned person every time so that uh, he can be sure that yeah this person is currently uh, alive i can say for being and he is actually uh, traveling safely uh, uh, that person so this is a kind of option that i came across but i'm not sure how much it is going to work because for a live feed definitely we need a good connection we need a good camera and something we have to manage 
over a uh, so we have to definitely manage a complete it team to uh, manage all this infrastructure so but this is a, 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 a like available options that we can think about like any other options do you think we can have in this case to make sure our customers are secure Anyone, any idea, random ideas? Hello. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can have a feature on the app that would, you know, uh, that would pop up every 15 minutes uh, that the customer is safe or not. The customer can choose an option. Like, okay. And it would, what notify, is... it would mm -hmm. notify the person like uh, with whom we are sharing our location. Okay. Okay. The family. Like yes. That. Yes. We can definitely notify that. But, uh, how we can understand like this notification is uh, sent by which mobile is currently with that customer only maybe that uh, the person who is currently uh, uh, you know uh, escorting them somewhere or uh, promise to escort them somewhere already have access to their phones and they can uh, set this up so this is a kind of like i'm just uh, brainstorming on this like how we can have this in place like Right. Hmm. So this is an idea, like right. You can say this. This is kind of idea that every fifteen minutes, uh, the uh, concerned persons, uh, relatives, or maybe his family members can uh, always have a repetitive uh, messages that your your person has reached till till this point. This is the milestone that he have crossed, and he is currently twenty minutes or thirty minutes away from your home location. Something like that. And uh, okay, but the problem is that if that didn't happen what will be the next step okay how we can uh, manage that like how we can understand if really so after 15 minutes the next pop-up is not coming something gone wrong how we can uh, manage that there could be an alert maybe mm -hmm. alert to the concerned persons relatives family or relatives, fa mm -hmm. the family like they can be alerted that yeah uh, there is no uh, update on their uh, situation or something like that mm, okay 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 so uh the one the first option like i said is a live feed and the second uh, option that we have identified is uh, continuously sending a pop-up message to our uh, concerned person's uh, family or friends so that they can be assured that this person is currently uh, at this location and this much time is pending to uh, reach them to the destination so yeah this is can be a one of the option any other options that we can identify to make sure that uh, we can uh, have that person securely and safely uh, reach to his destination can we involve the local uh, police Hello. or guard yeah 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 so i think like we can go through a managed group something like that sorry managed what managed route from okay. where like there will be a stable internet connection right 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 so we can have a, a managed route where we have a good internet connection and uh, we are good with that yes yes we can definitely have that part okay but having a good con internet connection is it's still like sometimes systems can go wrong okay we have to make sure the systems are working right and uh, uh, people who are using that service definitely need to have internet access to their mobile phones so yeah that is something that we can uh, definitely look into but how having a, a good internet connection is going to make sure that person is securely traveling or don't have any issues how we can make sure that so are you pointing to the second option that uh, we just discussed or is it something new that you're coming up with like yeah just uh, thought randomly i mean you just mm -hmm. laughed randomly that's that's okay. how i was thinking okay so i can like say like we can we are actually pointing to the second options right now which we just discussed like having a pop-up message in every 15 minutes and this message is sent to my relatives or my family members uh, who are currently concerned about my well-being so yeah we can uh, talk about that so as of now i can see that we have identified two options the first one is the 
option which where where we are going to have a live feed which is sent to my uh, uh, team member uh, sorry my family members and my relatives and my friends and second option is hack i ha i can have a a, a pop up message system where every 15 minutes my uh, concern uh, concern family members or my friends are getting these messages and with that message we can get a lot of information like where my person has reached how much time it is going to take and overall things that we can uh, add that information in the messages so okay so uh, so uh, like i'm asking you which one uh, which option you should think that we should go go ahead of it what would be the best option is it going to be a live feed that's something we can go ahead or uh, we should be uh, using a pop up message system that we can have so live feed is something i really think that can actually assure me that the person who is traveling is the uh, is very safe and uh, he, i can see them basically with my own eyes when i'm actually opening the app or anything so that i can see them that which i i guess that this option can definitely uh, make me very very much assured that the person which i'm concerned about is safe and uh, uh, traveling very safely without any problems uh, but the second thing i can see that the moment the live feed goes down due to some reason at that time the pop up message should be in place that the pop up message should tell that this person has reached till this area or this milestone has been crossed okay so i guess the option that we have here and can actually kind of um, uh you know uh, mix all uh, both of these options so the my primary uh, concern will be seeing the person who is currently traveling with my eyes on the live feed that will be i guess uh, more uh, uh, more kind of soothing option that i can see we have right where where i can actually see the person uh, safe and sound uh, like he might be sleeping or he might be reading or anything but i can actually see that person okay so that is something i can really i really want to go if uh, if anyone have any uh, like concerns with that they can definitely uh, give me a counter question or something like that i'm pretty much open to it okay okay so i i think that 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 is my primary uh, option that i will choose but uh, like uh, also said like we have a pop up message once so normally what happens like at a some at some area we definitely need a good internet connection with a great uh, bandwidth so that we can keep on sending those live feeds okay uh, or else we can have some different options we have a facebook live we have instagram live where we can uh, keep on uh, okay we can be on a specific video call or something where we can keep but definitely at that time sometimes the connection can go down okay and sometimes the uh, uh, internet pack uh that that we are using is going to be finished so might that might be a problem for us but the second then the second option come which actually sending a pop up message every 15 or 20 minutes uh mentioning the current current exact gps location where that person is and on which route it is and how much time it is going to take for him to reach to the destination so this is option uh that we can say we can go with the now we are going to select the sources like how do you search for them and which which do you choose so which sources should we select here uh, who are the right persons who can actually give us a right feedback on this thing so anyone from the teams who are normally uh, using this uh, uh, these services like ola uber or any pick up or drop services i actually want to hear from them uh what will be the uh, which will be the right uh, option to choose here like is this something uh, which is really a problem that we can actually deal with our own like we can use whatsapp video calls or we can use uh, whatsapp live locations like this things or uh, or should we actually find try to find a solution inside the company so that these guys can actually have uh, Uh, something in place which can actually concern or uh, uh, you know kind of uh, uh, give a comfort to their customers who are using this so anyone uh, from uh, the current session who are actually 
uh, using this uh, these services and have uh, have been really kind of a dicey mind when it's a late night or it's a uh, it's a long route with hardly anyone it's a no man's land where people are not uh, uh, like it's very uh, uh, it's not a, a kind of very much a, a, a high a high population area where we are going where hardly we can see a one or two people so anyone has faced this kind of uh, uh, situation where they are actually not sure whether they are secure but still they have any or they don't have any option and they have to choose their services so anyone from this team that they have uh, got this kind of uh, situation so basically this this part is very much important because after we discuss this we actually going to analyze the content okay what are the the feedbacks of the people and how we can do like so uh, uh, let me uh, tell you uh, my thing so normally uh, uh, my sister she normally works in night shifts and uh, uh, sometimes what happens like uh, at the night uh, her colleagues or her friends are not present with her or maybe they have left early so at that time she uh, she have to travel alone and she have to uh, uh, be on a uh, she have to keep on sending me these uh, live locations and whatsapp messages or number of the uh, number of this number plate of the car or sometimes even the photo of that uh, person who is actually uh, letting her travel or some other kind of person but these are some things that i have seen that people normally uh, don't give consent or they think that this is something shady that is going on and i really want don't want to be a part of that so can we make that application in some way that it can have all this information inside this like the person's aadhar card information and his authenticity of being a driver maybe his license uh, maybe his driving license or maybe his uh, car's paper that he is using and also we can actually have a live location enabled on that application itself within the phone within the application of the drivers as well as the application of the customer we can have these locations enabled Uh, live locations enabled and the concerned persons can actually look go through these live locations like they can keep on comparing where my actual person is and where the driver's car is right now so that they can compare if both are together and both are safe so something that that this is something we can actually integrate in our application and second thing normally right now people are using dash cams and uh, some recording devices that they have uh, with them so we can actually connect those dash cam to a live feed through the application so that the people who are actually using this uh, your uh, so people who are actually providing these services need to have dash cams in their own car which is actually pointing to the rear seat passenger seat where passengers normally sits and whenever we are actually concerned about my person like is he there in the car and is he safe i'm just going to switch to the uh, live feed and i can see that person is currently traveling so i guess this is something that we can integrate inside the application the application that we are using uh, so currently now right now i i actually analyze the overall content and i'm presenting the findings that we discussed okay so our task was this our task was to get my person securely from point a to point b the options that we have identified is that either we have can, we can have a live feed inside a live feed something like that where we where i can actually see the person who is traveling is safe and uh, the sources that i can uh, get is the people who normally travel late nights or uh, normally uh, the female persons who are uh, traveling late night due to their shift timings or sometimes the area where they are living or where they are working is kind of uh, no man's land where people are normally not living or it just something that is uh that is very shady area i can say where my travel travelers travelers are going okay and based on those these sources i have analyzed the content that what will be the best options that we can have and uh, based on that the findings that i see that i can actually have a application which is integrated with my cars dash cam which is currently showing the live feed of the people who are inside the car and who are traveling and this live feed link is automatically sent to the concerned person 
relatives family members or friends whenever they are actually using this app so that they can be sure that my person who is traveling on my car in the car is safe and sound and when these live feeds are not working properly maybe some internet connections happens or something like that we can actually send a text message to my relatives or my friends like after every 15 minutes or after 20 minutes that these uh, that the uh, that the concerned person is currently have reached till this milestones okay so other other thing is that we can actually define some milestones in the application also like after 10 kilometers or after 20 kilometers automatically a message will be sent uh, from the uh, from the customer's phone number that these guys are have have reached to this part until this part but maybe sometimes what happens a 10 kilometers uh, uh, 10 kilometers uh, range is going to be finished in maybe 5 to 10 minutes but sometimes maybe due to traffic or maybe due to some problem uh, the next 10 kilometers is going to be in the next 30 minutes so these times we can also uh, give a message to the concerned person like uh, there is something wrong happened like a car breakdown or a puncture or a traffic that is actually uh, going to get delayed so uh, so we can define that in uh, so the person should actually cover a, a 10 kilometers of area in at least 20 to 30 minutes and if he is not going to cover that area then we can make sure that this person is having this issue or maybe the car guy who is actually uh, escorting that a person to one point to another point can uh, uh, select some options inside the application itself and they can define that this uh, this is the issue that we are currently facing and it is going to take a longer time to reach from one point to another so this is the way we are actually going to uh, we can actually have a discussion and we can present the findings we can which can actually give us some write ups and some problem statement solutions that we can discuss and we can uh, define all of our overall situation like how we can deal with this and how we can actually get to some solution and start working upon it so this is the this is the normal research cycle uh, like we have just discussed that we can use to define any kind of problem so uh, personally if you ask me uh, i have been working as a i, I started working in learning Met as a uh, sops uh, administrator and we uh, actually uh, my main kra was to uh, make sure my all of these servers that we are currently monitoring are properly getting utilized and uh, there are no high utilization or there are no low utilizations so to resolve that problem or to get that uh, observability in uh, every team members who are currently working on the project we started sending uh, manual reports of each and every instances overall uh, utilization on a daily basis okay but then what started happen these emails are pretty much long okay these emails are very much long and they don't have any kind of a filtration or filter option or any kind of option where i can actually see the only the concerned instances or the concerned resources which i really which i am really interested upon so actually to solve this problem i came up with a solution where i can i started using a google dashboard or google data studio so google data studio is something that we can use to uh, present our Google Sheets. So they are these uh, these uh, data studio or these dashboards, I can say, are pretty much dependent upon their data sets, which can be anything. It can be a Google Sheet. It can be a, uh, it can be a, a, any uh, NoSQL database or anything like that. So normally we were using a uh, we were using Google Sheets. So I decided that we can we are going to actually present all this boring data into a very much good uh, dashboard where i can actually filter things out i can add color grading i can uh, add different time ranges so when i'm sending these reports daily uh, I, I actually have a only view of that daily uh, on for that day's overall utilization but when i'm actually using a google dashboard i can go through all the data i can uh, select the time ranges different time ranges and different date range and in between how how much the utilization was which project was getting how much utilized any specific issue came in during these days when uh, I, which which i am interested upon and all this data was actually saved in just a single sheet and we are just presenting them in a google dashboard and that 
actually trick actually worked and people start uh, loving it like people start adding how much uh, we can add more information in it and how we can manage it so in that way i actually added some value to my project where i can uh, show them like this is something we should be using instead of using those boring sheets and uh, uh, our limited uh, uh, viewing of the data where actually i can see if i want to see the data of last 7 days i have to go each and every report daily report of the last 7 days and then compare them or i can maybe say i have to open a seven different tabs and keep on comparing them but when i'm actually using this dashboard i just have to add the date range in between okay that date range is going to help me so i, I, I let me just show you that also it has been like a very much long time and i have right now that uh, dashboard is somehow not actually connecting to this data set but this is my actual data if i want to show you so you can see my basic utilization and my uh, memory utilization uh, high low high latency apis es thread so this is something we used to send it every every day we have to we are going we actually used it uh, to capture this data from our cloudwatch dashboard or my data rock dashboard whatever monitoring tool we were using and we were sending these reports uh, like this so let me just uh, show you that report okay so this is the report that we we are still sending on a daily basis and uh, see this much we have to so definitely this is not something that i can literally open in my mobile and i can view all of this so i have to keep on scrolling up and down here and there then only i can see and you can see a, a, the the body is such a big that i literally definitely need some around like 15 or 16 inch laptop where i can see all these things in one place so, so what i did i actually added all this data and i have added these columns over here which which are actually the main columns which can shows the data inside them and we can filter it out and this is something i came up with so i just okay so basically this is uh, this is the so i cannot actually see the data here but let me just show you a simple example so let me add this here I'm going to select my data source. So this is my data source. Okay. Okay. Great. So here you can see. I'm going to view this. I can literally filter out all the data here. I can see the overall API error rates of each of them, and I can see the dates and everything. And I can also see the memory utilization of overall. Okay. so this all data is just a simple reflection of the sheet that we are actually managing and sending it every day okay so somewhere i just use these task okay i define the task like uh, i i don't want to see daily reports i just want to see a link or a dashboard where i can see all of the historical data that i have that i have shared or saved in my sheet and then i will i actually identified some options that how how what is the 
single thing where I can have. So definitely CloudWatch is not going to help me. Either I have to enable the cross CloudWatch, cross cross uh, cross account CloudWatch settings, but that is something is not compliant with my current project uh, project processes. Like uh, the per, the people cannot have other projects access on my uh, AWS account or somewhere like that. And even the clients were not uh, uh, comfortable with sharing all these CloudWatch metrics in one of a, one of our own uh, AWS account where I can show all this. So that was also the not options. So the best option was to that to present the sheet that we are man managing or maintaining in such a way that it will be easier for people to read and also they can also they can view this uh, this dashboard easily in their mobile as well if i just share this link with them and i'm going to share this with all of the my team members they can easily open this dashboard in their mobile and this this application is by default mobile compatible okay so the, 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 so they don't have to worry that how i i can see data automatically all the resolution and all the overall setting of the uh, application can uh, can be taken place or can be taken care by the Google itself. Okay, so that is the way I actually identified the solutions that I have. Then I selected the sources. The sources was my manager and my team members with whom I discussed these ideas and got their uh, got their overall view of this problem and my options. And then I got a feedback uh, from them as well on the uh, suggested option that I had. Then I actually analyzed the overall content. I saw how the content is managed which is the important information should be in first which is the, which will be the last and then i presented my overall finding using this dashboard where i can uh, tell them like this is my account number and even i can see select the date range okay so let me just select uh, something from 25th june till Twenty fifth July. Let me apply this. Okay, I'm still seeing the date from. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is something I don't think right now it is working on this one. But yeah, uh, uh, like like I said, you can see uh, I have added this. PSS infrastructure summary dashboard. I have added the learning mix. So we were actually using, and also we can see the color coding over here. So 88 is something I really need to be concerned about. So that is uh, color coded with a dark green color. But I'm I'm really not concerned about my lower utilization, like 21%, 1%, which are currently at grayscale. So this this is something that easily attract our eyes and actually allow us to uh, get into the right or the a pain or i can say the concern areas where i'm do so i really i'm i'm really concerned about why this rds or, or on uh, this is the rds name is having a 88.94 utilization maximum utilization last day or on the first august so this is something uh, that where i can actually uh, see that this is a issue area and i can easily identify that and uh, present it to or i can debug or i can troubleshoot that issue with my team members and everything. So this was something that we actually can come up with uh, in our projects as well, where we are actually using some older technology or some uh, uh, some uh, uh, lazy ideas where we just want to present this okay, as a part of our compliance or our BAU. And people are actually not even looking at that part. But sometimes some people looks and they find it very much inconvenience to read all this data. So then we can come up with some solution using this uh, this research cycle, like defining a task and identifying the options that we have and selecting the right sources to get our feedback and extra inputs. Then we are going to analyze this overall content and then we can present findings with our solution. So this is something that actually I came up with as my personal experience and I'm expecting maybe you can also uh, use this, uh, uh, this method to uh, uh to define or add value to our project or maybe make everyone's life easier maybe something like that so uh 
this is something we actually can use and we can call it as a capstone project we can call it as a six sigma project maybe where we are actually uh, saving my time and my money basically by actually uh, working on the right choices only without wasting anyone's time or anyone's energy and actually saving something from being utilized okay so uh, that is it that is the overall uh, uh, session is all about said something so thank you and over to you Priya. so nikhil like uh, can i stop the recording yeah sure sure you can